do 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 Hola, YouTube. This is me, Silly Boy, with another short film, but this time it is a tutorial on how to make a muzzle flash effect on Windows Movie Maker. You've seen it in my other videos. If you haven't, check them out. Um, basically, what you need is your raw footage. So, that's what I did. And then you're going to want to play it up to the point where right as you pull the trigger so use this little button here you're going to want to take a picture I'll name it hit shot one because I've already did another one hit this split button next frame split button and you're going to want to delete that clip in there in the description I will provide GIMP which is basically a cheap photoshopping system basically it's a whole program it's really nice I like it. I use it all the time for all my thumbnails everything alright so what you're gonna do is hit file open and find the muzzle flash depending on what you want I'm doing the side because obviously I shoot from the side um, what you're gonna wanna do is hit this square rectangular select button sorry rectangular select button click all the way over it control C that's copy for those of you that don't know that hit open and then find the new one that the picture you just took which mine's right here headshot1.jpg um open it control v that uh, that pace um you're going to want to hit this scaling button it looks like a small square going into a big square um basically put it to the uh appropriate size And then I'm going to hit this button. Looks like a little compass, you know, arrows on each side. It's the move button. Move it right here. It's not over just yet. If you want, you don't have to. I'd recommend it though. Using the rotate tool, it looks like a rectangle with turning. Click on it. And I'm just going to slightly move it. And then I'm going to hit my move tool. Move it right there. And then you're going to click anywhere, see how there's an anchor. That means it's anchored in now. Actually, I should probably not anchor it. And if you accidentally anchor it, and you didn't mean to, just hit edit. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> Why did it just switch me? Just hit edit, undo anchor float. Or control Z for those of you, those of you that know what you're doing. I need to make mine a little bit smaller. So I'm going to move it. Anchor it. And then when you're totally satisfied with it, you're going to hit File. If you want, you can save it. That doesn't really help you. Export. Export. Replace. I like the quality at 100 because who doesn't like high quality? And then you're going to X out of that. Go back here, uh, import photo, and then get your, this is the old photo right here for me, and then this is, gonna just take it, drag it in between there, make it as small as you can, you want to zoom all the way in for this one. Ooh, what just happened? <laughs> I exclaim it is. So you're going to want to make it as small. That's as small as you can go. And then what you do after that is get to where you're on the picture. Click one frame in. Split it. And then delete one of them. So that will look like this. Believable. Also, what I will provide you with in that package is audio. So you'll just hit import audio. Find it. Mine's already here. It's gunshot two. That's what you're looking for. Gonna want to drag it right before, and then basically, there it is. It doesn't sound right. It 
sales slips. <laughs> Alright, that is not bad. Also, if you want to put a gun cocking, as you can see by mine, it already makes a sound when you cock it, giggity. Um, but if you want to use something like your hand, like I've, I've done that in previous videos, you want to get it right before you're cocking it, giggity, and then get the con gun cocking sound, which I also provide you with, so you'll, you'll get more of an effect with it like this. Oh my god, why is it being like this? Oh, wow, I'm really dumb. I accidentally put it at the end instead of the beginning. I put it at when I finished cocking it, not started. It's not starting. And that looks pretty good. I'm just going to make some final touches to it. And if you make a video and you don't like it because you think it's laggy or it's not good enough, well, one, as soon as you hit file, I'm just going to save mine again. Oh, whatever. Sure. File. Save movie file. Next. 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 It will download. shouldn't take any more than 15 seconds, depending on how long it is. If with this effect, you can basically make little... I don't even know. I guess this is a suicide thing. I don't even know. It's just a little joking around. Um, or you can make a serious gun battle if you have multiple people. You just, for every one, you gotta go on GIMP and edit it. It does not take as long as you think. If you go check out my laser gun, that only took me, like, five minutes to do. And that was only because I had to download a song for it. Um, I'm gonna just hit finish here, and we're gonna just watch the finish. This is the finish video. And boom goes the dynamite. Rate, like, comment for any questions or concerns or you think I'm awesome. Subscribe, please. Um, I'm doing daily videos. I don't know if you've watched any of my other videos. I only have like five views on each of them. I don't know why I'm still here, but uh, I make stupid little daily videos on things like this or t tutorials like this or Windows Movie Maker, just stuff I do or... Maybe I find a Nerf gun laying around, so I just I made a quick little video on how to how to modify the darts. So, uh, yep, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, fucking deuces!